All right, I wanted to share this dream that I had this morning. So in the dream, I'm like fairly newly pregnant and I'm at the appointment that you have. It's like your first appointment that women have to check for the heartbeat to see if your baby has a heartbeat. And so I'm like in the laying on the chair or table and the ultrasound technician is there and she's rubbing the wand on my belly and stuff. She's looking around the computer screen and she's like, I'm sorry, but you know, the baby is gone. There's no heartbeat. And I was like really sad and upset about that. And I was like, no, like do it again. And I said, I told her, I said, you need to be 120% sure that the baby is gone. And so she's looking around again and she turns to me and she says, I'm 120% sure the baby is gone. And then I woke up. And then when I woke up, I remembered that several years ago, I saw this video from Pastor Sandy Armstrong, where he was um, talking about the significance of the number 120 in the Bible. And basically it signifies the end of the age of this flesh and moving on to the age of being in the spirit. And if that doesn't perfectly describe the dream, um, I mean, the baby, the flesh was gone. You know, the baby was gone. The baby is about to be born. We are about to be born. We are about to be raptured. Okay, so just some other examples of like 120. There was 100. Well, it was given unto man up to 120 years to live. I know Moses lived to be 120. There was 120 people in the upper room when the Holy Spirit came down. There's 120 jubilees. So it's just, this dream is, I believe, showing that we're at the end. The baby is about to be gone. We're about to be gone. And I said, like, you need to make sure, not just 100% sure, you have to be 120% sure. And then, you know, I wake up from the dream and I'm seeing all these reports about Putin and Ukraine and World War Three and I guess Putin was claiming that his plan was to start everything before Christmas, um, which I believe, don't they like celebrate Christmas in Russia like January 7th or something? And then um, here we are a month from Christmas and I've mentioned this before over the years that if Jesus came to me, like if he just came to me right now and said, just for funsies, when do you think the rapture would happen? I've always said that I would say Christmas because of the message it would leave to those that were left behind. You know, they see, hey, it's Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, Christmas day, and the Christians have just disappeared. You know, it's not always about us anymore because we're, we're saved and we're watching and waiting and we're gone. And it's about those who are left behind. They would put two and two together and be like, you know, the Christians are gone. It, Jesus is real. And I believe that would put them, you know, to getting their Bibles and, um, you know, having faith. So it, it seems very simple and too obvious and too easy. But like I said, the message it would leave to the left behind. It's got to be about them at that point. Um, and then I do kind of think. You know, God's character is kind of multifaceted. In some ways, he's like a God of numbers and math and calendars and timing and all this complicated stuff. But at the same time, he also is very, he has a childlike simplicity to him. So I could see it being in his character to take us out on that day. And he said you that we would know the season and the first thing that comes to my mind is knowing a season is Christmas. Um, we equate Christmas season with Jesus. So I don't know. Like I said, it seems super obvious and too easy. And I might be wrong there, but that, that's, that would be my answer. And years ago, when I was actually praying and asking him, Jesus, when are you coming? And when is the rapture? Is it, you know, this feast day or that one? Or what is it? I would have dreams about Christmas and I would receive in my spirit Christmas music like um, Joy to the World and um, I forget what the other one was. Oh, and then there was this one. I was I was awake like 
talking. I was praying and asking him, when are you coming? I'm sick of being here. I hate this world. Like, I just wanted it to all be over at that point. And I'm like, when are you coming? When are you coming? And literally the song came into my spirit that I hadn't heard since I was a teenager. It's a Christmas song. And the title of the song is At Christmas. And I was like, nah, that's just too easy. That's just too obvious. It's too Jesus to come on Christmas for the rapture to be on Christmas. That's, you know, it has to be more complicated, like Feast of Trumpets or Pentecost or something like that. But I'm like, you know, my family who are sitting around in the room on Christmas Day, or not Christmas Day, if they're, you know, if I'm with family and it's Pentecost or Feast of Trumpets or whatever, um, and then we're taken, they're not gonna know that you know they don't pay attention to that kind of stuff like we do they know christmas so i don't know i just kind of think that would be i could see god doing that i hope so anyway and um i was actually saved on christmas day um you guys know that the main dream that god gives me is the rapture happens at the time of two moons um and the moon is for seasons <laughs> that's my daughter she's having quiet time the moon is for seasons and um this year i heard that hanukkah and christmas are on the same day that could be two moons and um i was actually born a lot of people when they meet me they're like oh your name's holly were you born on christmas i'm like no i was actually born the exact opposite dead july july 20th which is national moon day so I was born on the day of the moon and God shows me all the these moon dreams, two moon dreams, and I was reborn on Christmas day. Literally, I it was Christmas Eve and my aunt, I was very ill at the time and my aunt told me to go watch this Christian TV show. And the next day I did because they were talking about healings and I wasn't I wasn't saved. I didn't know I didn't know nothing about Christianity at this time in my life complete clean slate didn't come from a christian household at all and the next day i watched that it was um sid roth it's supernatural and people were telling about their healing testimonies and i was like oh my gosh you mean jesus is real like i can talk to him and like communicate with him in real time i had no idea nobody had ever explained that to me and so i was reborn on christmas day so I just kind of find it funny that I was born on moon day, reborn on Christmas day. And I really truly believe that the rapture could happen on Christmas day. But every year Christmas day comes and goes and we all like look forward to like Passover and then Pentecost and all the fall feast and everything. But to be honest, each one of those has a very good case for the rapture to be on that day. And I almost kind of feel like God did that on purpose so that we would always be ready. But he said, you know, we that we would know the season. And the only season I know is like, I think of like Christmas season and I don't know. Maybe I'm just being super hopeful. But Putin did say that he planned to do things before Christmas. So a lot of us have had that dream that when the bombs come down, we go up. I had that dream myself a long, long time ago. Like 10 years ago, maybe. Um... So I just, I think that dream that I had this morning just confirms that, that it's time, time's up, time to go. The baby was gone, 120, the end of the age. So, all right, I'm going to get off here and go get up my daughter. And I wish you guys could smell my house right now. I'm roasting a chicken, I'm making a roast chicken for lunch. And we're going to have leftovers for dinner. So it like, it even like smells like Christmas in here right now. So hang in there. Um, I felt like there was something else I wanted to mention, but I can't remember it right now. If I think of it, I'll just come back on here later. So, all right, bye.